Drive the home of the Magic, the Amway Center in beautiful Orlando, Florida. And get ready for another dose of NBA basketball here with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr and Kevin Harlan. And brought to you by State Farm. Here's a quick look at our starting lineups. One of the guys we're watching out for today, Greg Monroe. Yeah, great touch inside and wonderful body control as well for a big man. For such a young guy, Monroe has showed a ton of promise as an inside scorer. And you know what I love about him, Steve, is he scores the ball without having a lot of plays called for him. When you're able to pick up garbage buckets in the floor of the game, that's a huge plus for him and his team. Taking a look at Detroit, they've probably been looking forward to this part of the schedule for a long time. A lot of upcoming home games are slated for him here. And they've basically steamrolled these guys all season long, Kevin. 3-0, a chance to go 4-0, sweep all four games of the season series. They just seem to have this club's number. You know, they'll be doing a little jaw jacking tonight, too, talking some trash, I bet. Probably going to remind those guys. What a lopsided matchup it's been. And if they can build up a big lead, then it really might be time to pour some salt in the wound. For the Orlando Magic, they come in off a good outing against the Raptors. Yeah, they really struggled shooting the ball in that game, but still came away with the win. They obviously had to pick up the slack in a lot of areas, and they did it. Yeah, and Steve, I think that says an awful lot about them as a team when they're able to win despite shooting that poorly. You know, you talk about a franchise that's accustomed to playing in the postseason. The Magic fans have been a bit spoiled in that regard. Seems every year they're in the playoffs. Now here's a follow. Davis against Monroe. A fadeaway. Good. The defense that time didn't do quite enough. I mean, it takes a lot of effort to stop him when he gets in tight. On defense, the Magic. Well, back to the Magic. The team was started back in 1989, and since then, they have had only, what, nine postseasons missed? That's a pretty good mark, Steve. Well, between Shaq and Dwight Howard, they've enjoyed you know, having two of the best centers of all time with their franchise over the years. So uh, now it's just a matter of, uh, you know, can they move forward after last season's uh, difficult circumstances? And so here's Orlando. After the basket by Detroit. Nelson kicks to a follow. Pass to Nicholson. He dishes it to Nelson. Shot clock at six. Overnight. There's the block. And they're able to recover. Nelson against Knight. Nelson dishes to Davis. Stolen by Monroe. Nelson against Knight. That is good. Boy, they are locked and loaded early. Three for three. For the Detroit Pistons, they come in off the loss to the Heat. Yeah, I don't think they enjoyed watching the tape of that loss because there's no question they were the better team going into it, and yet they got completely crushed. I'm actually still trying to figure out what happened there, Steve. No matter how it looks on paper, you've still got to show up, lace up, and play. It looked like they just weren't interested in being there. Textbook offensive rebounding right there. I love that. Those putbacks are buckets any team loves to get. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, I spoke briefly with Lawrence Frank. I asked him what he thought might give them an edge going into this game. He said, well, our shot blocking is always a cornerstone for us. To have the ability to protect the rim really, I think, is invaluable. And one thing that helps sets us apart on the defensive end. Guys, let's see if they can lock down the paint. Thanks for the report, Doris. Steve, Clark, your thoughts on their defensive focus here? Well, it's the right strategy, Kevin, because you have to play to your strengths as a team. You can't get away from who you are. And that's right, Steve. Their strength is certainly what they do defensively. They can rattle for it. Now, here is Knight. Following the shot by Jameer Nelson. Knight with it. And it's Nelson picking him up. To the middle. Off his foot. And the ref's whistling a kickball. Stolen by Turkaloo. 
Now, part of the reason they are where they are is that they have taken care of the ball for the most part. It's taken away by Stuckey. About three minutes into this first quarter. Here's Knight. Here's Hammond. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And the defense fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws. Here. Nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Well, Lawrence Frank, head coach of the Pistons since last season. And before that, remember, he spent seven years as the head coach of the Nets. Had a very competitive team there to start his career. The Pistons lead it. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Nelson with the steal. Over Prince. Nelson, no luck. And you know, you talk about that tough team Lawrence Frank had in New Jersey. I mean, when he took that team over, they rattled off 13 straight wins. Six of those were on the road consecutively. So both of those marks set records for a new head coach. What a talented leaper. Loves to climb up and throw it down. Man, oh, Clark, he gets up so quickly. Yeah, it's like a pogo stick. Oh, my gosh. Not a lot of point guards in the league can jam like he can. That's for sure. And he's able to finish, guys, amongst all the big fellas in the paint. Just an amazing athleticism. Now here's a follow. He had 16 points in the win against Toronto. Just three to shoot. No good from Circaloo. Well, Tayshawn Prince going into last season surprised a lot of people when he re-upped with the Pistons. I think a lot, of, a lot of fans expected him to go to a better team, but he stuck with his Piston team, the club that is rebuilding, wanted to see it through, and unfortunately for him, did not have a great season. You cannot back that far off of a guy. I mean, I don't care who he is. These guys are pros. They all can shoot. D up. Here's Turkaloo. That's good. And Tayshawn Prince, one of those rare players to play for the same team his entire pro career, the Detroit Pistons. That's very rare. Yeah, very rare. 11 season in Detroit for Prince. And he's been a model of consistency and professionalism and winning basketball his entire career. And we hope to see him be able to help lead the Detroit Pistons back to respectability here as his career winds down. They're clicking offensively. A nice rhythm here. Coming out strong. Shooting an excellent percentage. That's why they've got the lead. Here's Nicholson. Can't get it to go. And the Pistons now going the other way. Their last encounter was in Detroit. Well, they rolled them in that game. And it was mostly due to the big rebounding advantage they had. Stuckey kicks to Monroe. Here's Knight. There's Big Dog. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Big dog, he's got five. Good job creating an easy bucket there. For the match, I am checked in for Davis. And Quentin Richardson has subbed in for Hito Turkoglu. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Corey Maggetti, he's checked in for Craig Monroe. Now here's a follow. Over Stuckey. A follow, that's good. A follow's got his second bucket tonight. Steve just mentioned their rebounding edge in that last game, Clark, and it really was a big one. Kevin, I mean, they were in complete control of the boards, and there's no question that was the overriding factor in the game. Here's Knight. 11 points for him in that last game against Miami. And what stood out to me in particular was his gorgeous playmaking out there. He was finding his teammates in great positions to score. Knight against Nelson. He passes it to a follow. Back to Nelson. Feeds to Aya. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. We'll take a look at the Pistons. And of course, Orlando. Quite a few spots down the ladder right now. Checking out Orlando. They've had a disastrous season in a lot of ways. I mean, you can tell that by looking at their place in the standings. It's been ugly for them.
I don't know how this happened, guys. I really don't. This is a team that had plenty of talent. Uh, I think the people genuinely thought it was a playoff club. But, boy, once things started to go wrong, man, they, they just went straight south. Here is Stuckey following the score by Tayshawn Prince. And the shot is good from Stuckey. And when you play against him, guys, you know that it's going to be very tough to deny him if he gets in close. So you've got to body him. You can't let him get positioned down by the hoop. Otherwise, he'll just torture you down there. And, you know, he's got another skill that you love to see in a play. The ability to create a high quality shot for himself off the dribble. And it's Vucevic missing. Pistons leading by 10. Right with it. Right now averaging 17 points a game. Villanueva. No good from outside. Orlando's gone 0 oh, 2 from deep here. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Here's Juan. The nine footers on the mark. Well, they are really getting chewed up inside here. I mean, that's eight of the last ten points they've given up inside in the paint. Yeah, and the paint should be sacred ground for a defense. I mean, you can't let anybody just trot in there and get an easy bucket. Here is Villanueva. The Magic getting the bucket. He feeds it tonight. Knocked away. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession for the Magic. Harkless is checked in for Richardson. Reddick comes in for Aaron Oflala. And it's Ish Smith in for Chris Duhon. Detroit also making some changes. Jason Max Seals checked in for Villanueva. Nerepko comes in for Corey Maggetti. And it's Bynum in for Rodney Stucker. Ion misses. Detroit's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. It's off his leg. And they're saying he kicked the ball. Vito Turpin is checked in for Ion. struggling defensively giving up too many easy buckets and they've been on fire offensively as a result Clark Smith outside the pass to Turkoglu the nine foot shot it's Drummond with the rebound well, that's a bad miss right there I mean you'd like to see him be a little more assertive when he has such good position now he gets a screen from Drummond there's big dog Hook loose. Hopeless with the steal. And here comes Smith leading the pass break. And Turkoglu gets it to go. The assist by Smith. Turkoglu's got his second basket. Distance leading by eight. Knight kicks to Drummond. And Detroit again with the bucket. A lot of points for them here early in the first quarter. I mean, this could get ugly. Yeah, they sure could. They're on quite a pace right now. And judging by their lead, this game could get out of hand in a hurry. Here's Smith. After the made shot from Andre Drummond. Here's Turkoglu. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. The Magic shooting their first free throws of the game. And for the season, guys, they're about 73% from the line. So kind of a, a, a mediocre shooting club. And, guys, those numbers represent a nice step up from what they were last year. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Glenn Davis has checked in for Vucevic. And Jameer Nelson is subbed in for Ish Smith. Now here's Bynum. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Here's Hammond. Shot, no good. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. It's still early, but they've started to establish themselves on the glass here. Yeah, that's due to their physical play. They're scrapping and clawing for each and every rebound out there. And the basket by Turkoglu. 
They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. They don't offer resistance. Take everything you can get in there. And the shot is good from Stuckey. Stuckey's got seven points in the game. Great move to get to the bucket and lay that one in. He's got the softest touch around the basket. Impressive. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. And Hito Turkoglu again. He's got nine. Uh, they may have to climb on his back to get back into this game. Pistons leading by seven. And here is Bynum. He points his last outing. Got a piece of it. And up the court come the Magic on the break. Here is Reddick. Misses the lane. That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. One second left. No good. And that does it for the first quarter. The Pistons on top. The newest issue of Dime Magazine just hit the... And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And guys, what's your take on the Pistons so far? Solid first quarter for this club. They came out strong and they put together some nice momentum here. Steve, I like the looks they've gotten on offense. A lot of good ones. Andrew Nicholson out there with Ivan. Then it's Duhan. Then there's a follow. And it's Richardson at the small forward position. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Magic. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Thanks, Kevin. Big Dog in their last matchup against the Heat was simply terrific. He finished with 27 points and was a big part of their rebounding effort as well, gathering several big boards to help out. This was just the latest in what has been a string of strong performances from him. Will we witness one tonight, guys? Thanks, Doris, very much. I'm sure he's going to carry some of that great momentum, Clark, into tonight. And that's the way it works, guys. A big game like that just carries over sometimes. We'll see. Yeah, all of a sudden the rim looks big. Everything seems to come easy, and, and the game just flows. He kicks to a flummer. Kicks it out to Richardson. Duhon passes to Richardson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Duhon. Richardson's got himself on the board with three there. Now, here's Knight, defended by Duhon. Back to Knight, out to McGinn. The Pistons working the ball around now. Villanueva gets it to go from beyond the arc. Villanueva's got his second basket of the night. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Here is Duhon. The feed now to Aflalo. To the inside. The shot's good for my eye. And they keep going right back to the paint. You can blame them. I mean... Second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. The dish now to Drummond. And he drops it in from the low post. And the Pistons lead by eight. The Magic have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Nelson kicks to Turkoglu. And stolen by Drummond. Four on three as they bring it up. Boy, they were not wasting any time on that fast break. Well, when it starts with the turnover, that's the best time to get out and run. You can beat the defense down the floor that way. Now, here is Nelson. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Davis. Back to Nelson. Turkaloo outside. Kicks it to Nelson. Overnight. And it's Nelson. That time on the assist from Turkaloo. Nelson's got his first points of the night. 
Now they've got to offer more resistance inside. Just too many easy buckets in the paint. Yeah, Steven, that's the top priority for any defense. You got to protect the paint. Here's Drummond. Six points for him. Worked down low that time, and he got the three second call. And upcoming the schedule for the Orlando Magic. Looks off to Brooklyn after this game as they have the next to look forward to. That sets off a five game tour for them. Nelson against Knight. Nelson kicks to Turkaloo. Passes to Reddit. Launches it. And good coming off the assist from Hito Turkaloo. And now it's only a five point piston lead. Well, once a shooter, always a shooter. J.J. Redick, one of the great marksmen of all time at Duke in the college game. And it's kept on rolling here in the NBA. He's got deep range on his three. Can spot up and shoot from anywhere. And also put the ball on the floor a couple times and create a shot inside. Great shot is right. And like you said, not only threes, but Steve, any shot where you give Redick a chance to set his feet and get a clear view of the hoop. His shot for him is just too consistent for him to miss. He is he's one of those players who works on that just so diligently. You know he's going to find a degree of success every time out there. Fellas, they are heating up from outside now. Yep, of their last five hoops, three of them have come from long range. And the Magic making a change here. Nicholson's checked in. Now Knight, vicious to Drummond. Here's Big Dog. And the layup falls. Big Dog's got his third basket of the night. Nice touch near the hoop. Nelson with it. Five points in the game. Takes the three. Pass to Harkless. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. And here's what the Detroit Pistons schedule looks like. Next up on the dock at the Bucks following this one. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Quentin Richardson's checked in for Orlando. Swallow comes in for J.J. Reddick. And Detroit with a change here, too. Maggetti's checked in. And all 10 of their last points have come inside the paint, so defensively, you've got to make an adjustment. Yeah, and you got to do a little more to stop it, too. I mean, it's coming way too easy for them. At some points, you just got to buck up and say it's not going to happen. And so here's Orlando following the bucket by the Pistons. Here's Richardson. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Well, you look at the numbers on the season, he's shooting 86% from the free throw line. And guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. Chris Duhon, he's checked in for the Magic. Good on the second free throw. Here's Knight. He has six. Maggetti right side. Good look. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Knight's got six assists here tonight. The Magic trail by nine. And here is Duhan. He dishes it to Richardson. Davis with a screen on Maggetti. The three from Aflalo. That's good. Aflalo's got seven points in the game. That's nine straight points coming off three three-pointers. The defense just getting shelled. Steve, the threes are killing him. I think they've got to find a way to chase him off the three-point line. There's Big Dog. Off target with the jump hook. He probably tried to do a little too much there. That was good defense. Well, they are getting out rebounded here, and it's showing up on the scoreboard as well. Yeah, it's something they're going to have to improve upon if they're going to win this game. Now, here is Knight. Here's Big Dog. Back tonight. And that one's good. Knight's got four points this quarter. You know, they've really made the best of their chances down the middle of the lane here. Yeah, they haven't met much resistance down in the paint, so I think you've got to continue to pound the ball down low. Here is Doohan. Back to Davis. 
Rebounded by Corey Maggette. You'd expect him to nail that one being that close to the hoop. Tipped. Now, here is Knight. Eight points for him. To the paint. Here's Hammond. It's hauled in by Richardson. The Magic trail by eight. Duhon kicks to Richardson. The Magic again can't hit. Boy, oh, he'd like to have that one back. Now, here's the fast break. Stucky leading the way. Here's Knight. That's blocked. The Magic shooting 47% in the second quarter. Duhon kicks to Davis. And it's good assisting on the play with Duhon. Davis has got eight points. And we're through two here and a good one. Pistons lead by five. Make sure you stay tuned for the Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce. Then we'll be back here right after that for the second half. Now, presented by Sprint. And now, the Sunday night edition of the Halftime Show. The Detroit Pistons are ahead against Orlando. A nice job of sharing the rock, making plays for one another offensively. Brandon Knight playing great through two quarters. He's got 10 points, and as usual, he's been handing out a lot of assists. And the Magic have been plugging away. Just one win away from moving into the eighth place in the conference, and they're definitely motivated. They've been very focused on the defensive end, generating steals, showing a high-level activity and aggression defensively. Hidu Turkaloo making the most of his minutes. He's up to nine points and has looked very good defensively, playing hard-nosed ball out there. And time now to head you back to the game in Orlando. I'll see you next time on the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. An exceptional performance from Brandon Knight. Well, why eat at the drive-thru when you can sit down at the buffet and have all you can eat, Clark? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you've been listening, partner. I like that. Uh, that's exactly what you need to do. Take advantage of what's available. On the court for the Pistons. Him, he's in at the four spot. Rodney Stuckey and Tayshawn Prince, the two wings. Brandon Knight is out there with Greg Monroe. Second free throw, no good. The Magic trail by six. Nelson kicks to Turkaloo. Pushes up. Oh, that's blocked. Here's Knight. Here's Big Dog. It's hauled in by the Magic. Davis has got his fifth rebound in this one. So it's off to Brooklyn after this game as they have the next to look forward to. They hit the road with that, the first of a five-game run. No question, a lot of fans will be focused on that, that matchup for Brooklyn. Boy, these threes are picking them apart. I mean, four out of the last five shots against them, all uncontested, and all are threes. Yeah, the defense just looks uninterested right now. I mean, they're not making the effort to challenge these shots. And the Pistons with possession here. Following the three from Jameer Nelson. Here's Knight. And good coming on the assist by Rodney Stuckey. Knight's got 12 points in the game. Now Tickaloo. Nine points in the game so far. Back to Davis. Blocked. Tickaloo outside. Feeds to Nelson. Blocked again. But he gets it back. Tickaloo goes up again. Rodney Stuckey pulls it in. Stuckey's got six rebounds in the game. Tell you what, shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for this squad. 
Monroe's shot is good. And it's a seven-point Piston lead. Well, what makes Greg Monroe good is the fact that he's a very well-rounded offensive player. Coming out of Georgetown where he ran that Princeton offense, he understands passing angles. He's become a very efficient scorer and passer for the Pistons. They want a lot of offense to Nicholson kicks to Davis. Good ball movement here by the Magic. And stolen by Knight. It's three on three on the fast break. With the lead pass, Monroe. And they call over the back here. Too much content. Well, he's boxed out. And when that happens, you know, at some point, you have to just turn and get back defensively. That time, he went right over the top. Yeah, but you go straight on the top of another player's back. That's going to be a foul call every time. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Pass to Nicholson. Fires the three. And there's the foul. It's on Aaron Aflalo. That'll be his second foul of the game. Pistons leading by seven. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Stucky right side. It's Prince on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Rebounded by Jameer Nelson. Nelson's got his third rebound tonight. He feeds it to Turkaloo. Pass to Nicholson. He passes to a flower. And there's the pass to Nelson. Nelson left side. And it's rejected. And now the Pistons fast break. Here's Prince. And that one's good. Prince has got six points. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Turkaloo with it. Nine points in the game so far. And here's a flop. Turkaloo outside. Over Prince. Once again off the mark, Orlando. He may want to start spreading the ball around a little bit. His shot is off right now. Here's Big Dog. He's got eight. Stucky outside, and out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. For the Magic, high end comes. Here's Smith, looking for his first bucket of the game. He kicks it to Nelson. And there's the feed to Davis. Smith up top. Back to Davis. To end the drought. Tayshawn Prince with the rebound. Prince has got four rebounds in this game. Inside. Here's Hammond. Orlando grabs the miss. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. So far, he hasn't made much of a contribution at the offensive end. And it's a defensive three-second violation. You know, he's a player who can make all the passes, but the one he's known for is the alley -oop. His timing and placement of the ball are always perfect. Steve, he's turned it into an absolute art form. That's typically a risky pass to make, but not when he's the one making it. Nelson sets a screen for Smith. Here's Nicholson. No good off the pick. And I'll tell you what, this has been one ugly quarter for him. And it keeps getting uglier. I mean, his touch has basically gone AWOL. There's a screen. 
There's Big Dog. Gets it to go. Big Dog's got 10 points in the game. The Magic trail by 16. Nelson outside. The dish to a flower. Makes the lead pass. Smith. The shot from the low post is good. That's how you exploit that defense. Take the ball right to the basket. Pistons leading by 14. Now, here is Knight. He's got 12. Hammond. Nicholson grabs the board. Nicholson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. A very rough quarter for him is not much is falling right now. Gotta love the teardrop. Just put it right over the defender. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply all over the court. Yeah, it sure does, Clark. And look at the assist totals. They're piling up. I mean, this has been a, a nice game execution-wise for this club. Hammond. Orlando grabs the miss. He worked himself into a really good position there, right near the basket. That's the look he wanted. Nelson kicks to Smith over Prince. And it's Orlando with another. Piston shooting 42% from the field here in the third. Here's Big Dog. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third. No good. And Orlando the other way now. He's really struggling in this quarter right now. They need to think about getting the ball out of his hand. Blocked. We've got 22 seconds left in the third. Here's Knight. Jumps up. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. You know, he's been one of those players they've won on the line as much as possible this season. Here's Maggetti. Gets it to go. And the Pistons lead by 16. Kevin, that's exactly the kind of shot you want off the inbounds play. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. A follow is out there with Hito Turkoglu. Then there's Glenn Davis. And it's Jameer Nelson. And it's Duhon in at the shooting guard position. That's who's out there for Orlando. So it's Detroit now. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Knight kicks to Villanueva. Back to Knight. Kicks it to Stuckey. Defended by Duhon. Passes it to Knight. Just four to shoot. Puts it up. Again, the Pistons good for two. The Magic trail by 16. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Duhon kicks to Nelson. Overnight. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Turkaloo. Three-pointer. Cannot hit. Not a bad look at the hoop. Just couldn't get it to bounce in for him. Pistons leading by 16. Here's Knight. Dishes it to McGinney. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Knight's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. I like it. He could have gone for the forced finish, but opted instead for kind of a nice smooth finger roll. I like it. Nelson, he's guarded by Knight. Duhon kicks to Turkaloo. He dishes it to Duhon. This one for three. Shot is blocked. Now, McGetty. Feet 
feeds it to Villanueva. There's Big Dog. Lock at six. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Maggetti, another shot, and that's two points on the layup. And the Pistons lead by 20. Big lead on the boards usually equals a big lead in the game. This team is on cruise control. Well, the rebounding differential is double digits already, so this is a team that just looks bigger and tougher than the opponent. A follow with it. Rodney Stucky cover. A follow dishes to Duhon. Turkaloo outside. With the shot. And it's good assisting on the play with Duhon. Duhon's got his fourth assist in this one. So for the Pistons, Craig Monroe, he's checked in for Villanueva. And Tayshawn Prince subbed in for Corey Maggetti. Nelson against Knight. There's Big Dog. In low to Monroe. Count that one. Again, they attack the hoop from the lane, and it's been really good to them. Yeah, they're getting whatever they want down there. That's four of their last five buckets coming in the paint area. And guys, we know officiating the NBA game is really such a tough job. I don't envy those guys at all, and they're under more scrutiny than ever before now. All the clips are available online, and the league is really putting more energy than ever into getting the best out of the officials. Here's Hammond, and he converts the layup. Creating that kind of shot in close is really your primary objective every possession. The Magic shooting just 25% in this fourth. Nelson against Knight. Nelson kicks to Turkaloo. And stolen by Knight. Jumps up. Dishes it down to finish the break. Sweet finish there, showing you some major strength in the ability to sky. I rode that elevator right to the top floor. <laughs> Explosive hops. I'll tell you what, he can really catch you off guard. Let me go back to the officiating and that balance between letting them play and whistling it tight. Nobody wants to watch guys shoot free throws all night, but Steve, how do you prefer the game to be officiated? Well, it's so difficult, Kevin. Uh, on one hand, the officials need to set the tone early. Uh, and, and not let players foul each other all game. Uh, on the other hand, you know, you, you can't have a hundred free throws shot in the game because, as you said, nobody wants to watch. So it's really a balancing act for the officials. And they have a, a terribly difficult job. And the Magic making a change here. Nicholson's checked in. Knight with it. And it's Nelson picking him up. Down low. There's Big Dog. And there's the three-second violation. Here's Turkle. And he feeds it to a follow. Back to Turkle. From the arc. Craig Monroe with the rebound. They have really been a group of glass eaters out there today, fellas. I mean, just devouring any and all rebounds. And I think that's the difference in the game right now. A double-digit lead in that category. Here's Knight. Good team by Nelson. Magic shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. A follow the pass to Nelson. It's taken away by Stuckey. There's Big Dog. He's guarded by a follow. Rodney Stuckey on the wing. He passes tonight. Pass to Monroe. Davis is on. Six to shoot. Prince dishes tonight over Nelson. They get the rebound. Hannah. They shoot again, and it's Orlando with the rebound. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Turkaloo outside to stop the drought. Second-chance shot, and the layup is up and in. Davis has got four points in the quarter. 
He has such a great feel for how a missed shot is going to come off the rim. Really plays those angles well. That's exactly why he consistently beats defenders to the ball. Here's Stuckey. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. The Magic shooting just 25% in this fourth. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. And Turkoglu with the basket on the assist by Nelson. Nelson's got three assists in the game. Pistons leading by 22. Stuckey kicks tonight. Back to Stuckey. Here's Big Dog. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. On the top of the key, Detroit with the rebound. Knight's got six rebounds here tonight. You know, one of the things about playing in the Western Conference, Kevin, is that travel can be very difficult. In the East, most of the cities are a lot closer together. You know, but in the West, you can rack up some serious frequent flyer miles in a hurry because you're flying really all over the place. Here's Turkaloo. Tries again. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Looking at the numbers for Glenn Davis, he's got 13 rebounds and a steal. If I was giving him a grade, it would be an A+. Plus. I mean, his excellent work on offense and defense has earned him the highest grade he could get. Yeah, it's been a 94-foot performance from him. No question, Clark. Here's what Orlando's going with right now. Vucevic checked in for Turkoglu. Ian comes in for Nicholson. J.J. Reddick's checked in for Aaron Oflala. And it's Duhon in for Jameer Nelson. The Magic making a switch here. Richardson's checked in. One fourteen left in the fourth quarter of this one. The shot by Reddick, no good. Well, Steve, as you said, all that travel can take a toll on a team. Still, usually the West has done better in the past against the East. Well, Kevin, obviously talent has a lot to do with it. I mean, if you've got great talent, you're going to be able to win more games on the road regardless of how far you have to travel. But I, I do think there is a toll on teams like Portland or Miami that are you know, really tucked away in far corners of the country and have longer trips throughout the season. And the pass to Richardson. Now the feed to Vucevic. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. That is not a difficult pass. You'd think they could keep it in bounds. Is Smith. He's checked in for the Magic. And a switch here also for Detroit. Drummond's checked in for your red card. Detroit dictating the floor. He kicks it to Bynum. Thirty-four seconds left to play in the final quarter, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a that's a that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. The Magic shooting just 25% in this fourth. The dish to Richardson. Over Maggetti. Richardson. Good. Richardson. Twenty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so the Pistons can now just hold on to the ball. Inside. Gathers. And he makes good on the layup. I think we can chalk this one up. The goal now is just to run some time. Yeah, I think it's time to get the bus started now, boys. Line them with the steal. And so it's the Pistons taking care of business here. How much should be cruel to imagine?
Not sure you even realized it, but tonight's game marked your first career triple-double. How did you feel out there tonight? 